Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you my After Effects settings that I use for better performance and smoother previews. Before we begin, I want to mention that these settings only make up about 10% of what actually affects After Effects performance. Let's get started. First of all, what you should always do is clean the cache. After Effects saves all the cache from your previous edits, and every time you start the program, the cache builds up and fills to the maximum, making After Effects run slower. So once you open After Effects, go to Edit, scroll down to Purge, and select All Cache. As you can see, I have around 42 gigabytes of cache, and it's important to clear it every time you start a new project. Now let's change some settings. Go to Edit, scroll down to Preferences, and choose Media and Disk Cache. By default, the maximum disk cache size is set to 40 gigabytes, but in my case, I use 200 gigabytes. Disk cache is basically the temporary storage After Effects uses to save previews and rendered frames, so it doesn't have to re-render them every time you play the timeline. I set it to 200 gigabytes so After Effects has more space to store previews, which helps with faster playback and smoother workflow, especially in larger projects. You can't set it to 200 gigabytes if you're running low on storage space. In my case, I have two NVMe SSDs, each one terabyte. I use my C drive for After Effects cache because my D drive is dedicated to projects projects, videos, photos, and other files. The C drive is mainly for programs, After Effects cache, and a few games. Usually, 200 gigabytes is more than enough for most users. But if you have extra space, like 2 terabytes on your C drive, or even 3 separate drives in your PC, you can dedicate one drive just for the After Effects cache and set it to around 400 gigabytes. your previews will perform much better that way. So that's the first thing you should change in After Effects. Also keep in mind that you should always have After Effects and your projects stored on the fastest drive available. If you're still using old HDDs, avoid saving your projects on them, your loading times will be much slower. Always store your After Effects, cache, and project files on the fastest drive you have for the best performance. Now let's switch to memory and performance. Under memory, you'll see your installed RAM capacity. In my case I have 32 gigabytes, which is pretty much the minimum these days. And yes, I still struggle a lot when working with 4K videos, so I'm planning to upgrade with another 32 gigabytes soon. If you have more RAM than I do, that's great, but make sure to set RAM reserved for other applications to the lowest value possible. That way, After Effects can use the maximum amount of memory available, giving you smoother previews, faster rendering, and overall better performance while editing. Under Performance, make sure to enable multi-frame rendering. This allows After Effects to use multiple CPU cores at once, which significantly speeds up rendering and previews. Next you'll see CPU reserved for other applications. The default value is usually 10%, but if you have low NPC, I recommend lowering it to around 5% for better performance. By doing this, you let After Effects use more of your CPU power, which means faster rendering and smoother playback. However, if you often multitask while editing, like running Chrome, Premiere Pro, or music in the background, you can keep it at 10% to prevent lag or system slowdowns. Also if you have a high-end CPU, you can keep it at 10% and don't need to change it. Your system will still run smoothly while After Effects performs at its best. So these are the main settings you can change for better performance. Next go to File, scroll down to Project Settings, and under Video Rendering and Effects, change it to GPU Acceleration CUDA. This setting allows After Effects to use your graphics card instead of relying only on the CPU for rendering. By enabling GPU Acceleration, you'll get faster previews smoother playback, and quicker render times, especially when working with effects, color correction, or 3D compositions. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.